The image that you see here of a soldier uh, donning armor is an InfoWars clip uh, between segments on the Alex Jones show that I saw in between an interview that he was doing with uh, Shock Jock Man Cow and another interview with a young woman. Uh, but it was a transitional InfoWars promotional, not really promoting any product, but just promoting this. Uh, uh, you can watch it. You can see uh, on the screenshot here exactly <clears throat> where you can find it in the show on that particular day. But needless to say, it, sho the, um, it shows, as you can see here, um, a soldier with uh, a hexagram, a Zionist Israeli, um, you know, so-called Star of David. Really, this symbol has nothing to do with David. Uh, sometimes it's also called the uh, Star of Solomon. There's nothing biblical uh, to connect David or his son, King Solomon, to this hexagram. And in fact, there's a lot of occult significance to this hexagram. Um, it, but before I get into that, the, the um, InfoWars little transitional piece that, that was less than a minute long, um, it went through a list of heroes, people who are heroes that, that are, you know, that, that uh, InfoWars sees as heroes, and it showed um, Trump and uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, however you say his name, the sodomite that they're uh, friends with. And it, it really made just palpable and impossible to ignore uh, what uh, Adam Green of No More News has been saying for a long time, and I've known it's true. But there it is. They're not hiding it. It's in your face. Uh, as much as I you know, want to love Alex Jones, and in a sense, this is my way of saying to Alex, Alex, I love you. I thank God for what he's done through you and in you, and I've learned from you over the years. And, uh, you know, I've tried to support you. I buy your products. I love the Brain Force product. Uh, when I can do so, I buy your products. I, I, I don't agree with Alex being deplatformed, but he, just like Trump, I mean, he's clearly capitulated to and owned by, to some degree, to a huge degree, if they're, if he's promoting, you know, the the hexagram on a soldier's helmet as an example of the resistance. I mean, that means I, Alex. I, I mean, the the jury's <laughs> the jury is in, the verdict is in, and Alex is ad admitting that Adam Green has been right all along, and and he is a um, Zionist shill. Obviously, this little segment uh, is just the icing on the cake. Uh, Adam Green has proven it and documented it. Um, it was easy to see the transition happening. Alex used to criticize Israel, but fundamentally, Israel, the state in the Middle East, is not God's Israel. And it's a complicated subject. I'm not going to delve very deeply into it here, but needless to say, that hexagram, maybe not needless to say, I should quit saying that, that's a verbal tick, but that hexagram, that hexagram is a geometrical representation of 666. And for Alex to show that emblazoned on someone's forehead is very sad and very evil. Israel is the uh, strongest state supporter of sodomy in the world, outside of the United States. Um, Israel is perhaps the most pro-abortion state in the world. Now, China has forced abortions, but Israel is philosophically um, very much pro-abortion. And the Jews are one of the most pro-abortion, if not the most pro-abortion, ethnicities on the planet. And their own predicament there in Palestine, even with the Arab Israelis, their own demographic uh, failure proves that. But why would Alex, Alex, why would you allow your program to promote a 666 symbol, a hexagram? I mean, when a, when a witch curses someone, you know, you say she has a hex. If she's a powerful witch, she has heavy hexes. Well, that's a hex. A hexagram is a hex. Literally, it, it, it is the 
perfect geometrical representation of 666. It's got six points, got six little triangles around the uh, hexagon, and uh, six. it's made with six lines. So use six lines to make a star, a six-pointed star, comprised of six triangles around a uh, hexagon, which is a six-sided um, uh, uh, tetrahedron. Not a tetrahedron, that would be a five-sided, but, a, but a, uh, a hexagon is a six-sided geometrical figure that is uh, symmetrical. So I rambled a little bit here. I'm busy, I'm traveling, uh, but I, it was painful for me to see this. What I already knew was the truth, that InfoWars and Alex Jones are completely enslaved to the Zionists. Because I like these guys, and I, I've been enter entertained by Alex, and I've learned a lot from him, but it's just right there in your face, and I'm praying for you, Alex. I'm praying for you, that you'll be able to get out from under him. I see you've been cornered, and I see that you um, maybe had to choose sides. Maybe Trump you know, wouldn't be alive today if he hadn't sided with the Zionists, because you can't fight everyone. I get that, but at the cost of what? At the cost of signing up with the 666 fake Israel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pro-abortion and, and, and aligning yourself with Milo Yiannopoulos. You think that, that aligning yourself with, with these open sodomites, do you think that Jesus and the power of Jesus is going to be with you and protect you? Alex, it's impossible. It's impossible. I don't hate all gay people either, but... You know what, when you really hate gay people is when you begin to pretend like it's all right for them to sodomize one another. And it's not. It's satanic. And, you know, Milo uh, doesn't need to be promoted. He needs help. He needs help. He's sick. And no uh, libertarian attitude towards sodomy. Sodomy was illegal. This is Orwellian. It should be illegal again. And no... Uh, libertarian attitude towards sodomy is going to be blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ.